This morning, tension is spreading on campuses across the country as students demand to be heard in scenes reminiscent of 1960s anti-war protests. ABC's Phil Lipoff joins us now from Columbia University here in New York, where the demonstrations first started. Good morning, Phil. Good morning, Janae. As you point out, it is a second full week of protests here at Columbia University. The protesters camped out just beyond the gates behind me in tents. They are demanding that the university cut ties with Israel. Similar scenes playing out all across the country. College campus chaos as schools nationwide deal with an influx of protesters angry about the Israel-Hamas war. In our nation's capital, Palestine will live forever. George Washington University telling students anyone who remains in the university yard risks temporary suspension and being barred from campus. Selena Al-Shahabi is a Palestinian-American student. We're staying here until our universities divest from companies that directly support uh, the Israeli Defense Forces. And we are sick of seeing a genocide unfold with our tuition money. Since last week, demonstrations and tent encampments popping up on at least 48 colleges across the country. California Polytech's Humboldt campus will remain closed for the semester. <laughs> Some students have taken control of a building as part of their protest. The school telling ABC News protesters are demanding, among other things, the school disclose all holdings and collaborations with Israel, cut ties with all Israeli universities, divest from companies and corporations which are profiting from the Israel-Hamas war, and publicly call for a ceasefire. At Columbia, the epicenter of student dissent against the war, the university president saying she wants the encampment cleared out before the undergraduate graduation ceremony on May 15th. Outside the school Friday, Bring them home. hundreds of pro-Israel counter-protesters calling for the release of hostages taken by Hamas during the October 7th attack on Israel. Some Jewish students saying they feel unsafe with what they have heard at the protests. On this campus, people chant that Zionists are not welcome, calling on, quote, death to the Jewish state. Overnight, the university administration condemning such remarks, writing to the campus community, the anti-Semitism being expressed by some individuals is intolerable. And the safety situation has become concerning, particularly with the involvement of individuals not associated with Columbia. Columbia students who are involved in such incidents will be held accountable. Columbia's Senate, which is made up of both faculty and students, voted to create a task force to look into the administration's handling of the protests. And that includes the decision to call in the NYPD last week. This morning, the protest continues. Gio? Yeah, and this is happening at many, many more schools. All right, Phil, thank you so much.